I hope 2019 is gonna be an incredible year, a year of fulfillment, satisfaction, success, and good health to each one of you. So in my last video, I walked you through the steps to creating and designing your life in 2019. In this video, I'm going to give you tips that will help you stick to your goals and actually achieve them by the end of the year. So tip number one is to focus. Focus on your goals and focus on your projects. Now that you have a list of goals that you'd like to achieve this year, you need to remind yourself of them pretty much every single day. This is why it's important to have a sort of a vision board, a dream board, or just notes that you have on your wall or on your computer and your phone. It's easy for us to get distracted and these reminders will help us get focused, stay focused, and put all our attention and energy into those goals. You also need to stay focused on yourself. Now, in this world of social media, it's very easy to get distracted, give attention and maybe way too much attention to other people's lives. What I want you to do this year is to really tune into yourself and be closer to yourself so that you get to know yourself even better. So having focus on your goals and on yourself will only help you move forward and stop actually comparing yourself with other people, which only brings you really bad energy. Okay, just let me say it one more time. Limit your time on social media. You know, spending hours scrolling and seeing what's going on in other people's lives not only bring you bad energy, but also doesn't really help you achieving your goals. It's okay to get inspiration once in a while, but the main focus should be on you. My tip number two is to set a routine and plan your days in advance. This is a very important one because I want you in the morning to start with the things that actually give you the most energy to be efficient throughout the day. I don't know, it could be waking up very early, it could be working out, it could be drinking lemon water, I don't know, meditating, you know, all that good and fun stuff that YouTubers talk about, but it could be other things, I don't know. Whatever brings you energy, do it first thing in the morning. So one thing that I do that I find very helpful in my morning routine is avoiding the news. I don't know, for some reason, the news bring me so much um, bad energy and sort of influences me throughout the day. So I make sure to steer away from the news, especially, you know, political news, because, you know, they're only bad news. You don't hear anything nice or fun. Start in the morning with the things that bring you the most energy and make it a ritual, make it a habit to take care of yourself first. And do the same thing in the evening. In the evening, you may want to sit down with yourself, reflect on your day, plan the next day, and also write down and jot down all the ideas that you have and all the questions that you're going through because life is also about self-discovery. It's not about just chasing the money. It's about getting to know yourself better and bringing the best out of you to help other people. So when you have a morning and a night routine, it's time to start planning your days in advance. I recommend planning your days once a week. So once a week, you would sit down and have an overview of your week and then plan ahead all the activities that you want to do, all the goals that you have professionally, all the things that you need to do with your family. That way you already have an idea on what's going on in your week. Now, for me, when I leave my days blank, guess what happens? It's total randomness. I don't achieve anything. But when I plan my days in advance, at the end of the day, I have this wonderful feeling of satisfaction that I have completed my to-dos and I feel like I've done something meaningful on that day. So scheduling and planning your days in advance will help you live more meaningfully and intentionally. The last tip that I have for you, and it's a big one, it's actually to be consistent. 
So if at the beginning of the year you have as a goal, for example, to get fit and in shape or to lose weight, do you think it's enough to go to the gym once and actually lose that weight? No, it takes a lot of work to get to the result that you want. This is exactly what I wanted to tell you, is that some people, they actually don't achieve their dreams and goals, not because they're not smart, not because they, are, they don't have any luck. It's actually because they quit too soon. They quit too early. One example that I would like to give you is my YouTube channel. So some of you may have been here for a while, but some others, you're just um, starting to get to know our community. So I started posting videos on YouTube for a long time now. I don't remember how many years it's been now. But back then, I used to be just you know posting whenever I felt like posting or whenever I had a free time. But in the past year, in 2018, I sort of started posting more regularly you know, trying to post once a week. It hasn't been once a week for the entire year. But at least it was more consistent. And the results are obviously there. They're visible. You guys are part of this amazing community. I'm so glad to have done all this work to get to know you and get to interact with you all. So consistency is really important in whatever you're doing, in whatever goals that you have. Whether that's on the personal or professional level, consistency is key. And by consistency, I mean discipline and really commitment to achieving those goals. So there you go. Focus on yourself and on your goals. Have a routine, morning and evening routine, and plan your days in advance. And lastly, be consistent with your goals, with your actions. Don't quit until you see positive results. You can actually change strategies, but if your dreams are really important to you, keep on going. All right, guys, I hope this video will be helpful and that you will this year experience amazing and beautiful things and really above all, experience growth because that's what we all looking for, growth and fulfillment. Let me know down in the comments below what is the one habit that you're going to focus on this year that's going to help you achieve your goals. Again, thank you so much for watching. Please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. And let's stay in touch on social media. I'll see you very soon. Bye.